Right, top eight time. Hey, we won the die roll. Yeah, we want to play first. We want to beat them down. What do we got? Perfect mana. Some creatures, some things, sure. Playing against Beatnik Bobby. He usually, I think lately, he's been playing some sort of blue black or soul tie deck, something like that. Freakus Cure kills my guy. That's fine. I actually prefer the Bondkin again. I threw it out there first because I want to have the Sky Guard be the one that he doesn't have removal for. We're stuck on two lands, though, so we just got to run it out there and see if it dies or not. It does not. Still stuck on land, so we probably want to draw a card. So we're probably going to lead off here with Defiant Strike, even though we can't protect with, you know... God's willing, with no white man anymore, we just gotta hope to draw a land so that we can really unload our hand, but we don't. That's fine, we're beating him in the air, and we know he doesn't likely have a removal spell anyway, so he has to top deck it. So he outlasts, makes this guy there. Yeah, that's like, his hand must be awful or just do nothing re of relevance, so... Finally draw that planes, very nice. At this point, just making this one creature bigger is probably better. I'd probably Defiant Strike to lead off. We're getting in the damage guaranteed, I always like that. And we're out of Freakus Cure range. Wow, Molting Snakeskin, huge pickup here. Might as well play it. So we get through for seven this turn, which is huge. And we're protecting with God's Willing. Now, if he does have removal, it's likely to be a black card, so we might lose our snake skin. But, or a bounce spell, like a appeal from reality or voyage's end. But nope, he's got none of those such things. And he doesn't even want to block, so we're in a pretty good spot here. We're going to... Keep protecting with God's Willing and play some two mana spell and just beat him down for six. Probably play a student. Yep. So his plan here is to merchant. That gains him back a bunch of life. Only four, though. His devotion's not that high, so he's dead to Defiant Strike if. No, I can't give Pro Black because I would lose my guy, so. Uh, that's bad. I guess, uh, that, yeah, that was really bad. I was thinking, I think because I won so many other games by casting God's Willing, I forgot, like, when I cast God's Willing on black, I'm going to lose two power, and then I will not be able to coup de gras him. <coughs> him. Um, if you draw a land, which is nice, but it's just, it's just forcing him to chump block. And then he's going to have to move the sandals over and just be in like this constant chump lock mode. So I can play another guy. Potentially get through in the air. And gain some life. Plays another merchant. Wow, it goes up to 14. And I'm at 11. He's winning! No! But he didn't get to play Sandals that turn, so I get to make my other guy bigger. Kind of diversify my portfolio. Draw another land, that's okay. So we can just empty our hand. A little bit. I still have God's Willing up though, just in case. So, bringing the beats down. If he played another Merchant, he would gain 7, go to 12, and I'd go to 4. And then I'd be dead to another merchant, so that's rough. So I just let him take whatever he wants. He takes the God's Willing. He thinks he's lost. So if he had a removal spell, he could do it, but... Or bounce spell, but no. So at this point, I can just hope for Eidolon. <laughs> yeah, he needs multiple Grey Merchants. At this point, I can just gain a lot of life, and I figure I don't need to gain that much life. I'll just put it on the smaller guy. 
Since 1, now this can attack through the 1, 3, but he has to block the 7, 5 anyway. So I figure I'm getting through guaranteed 2 extra damage this way, and the life gain puts me out of range of the Grey Merchant anyway, so it just puts more pressure on him. He does not draw the Grey Merchant, and we are victorious. Now sideboard-wise, against blue-black control, none of our removal except for Pillar of Light really does anything. And he's got O4s and Grey Merchants and whatnot. So I think I take out Jeskai Student or Anik Bonkin, some, again, some lame ground creature that isn't likely to bring much beat down. So here got a creature not playing hopeful light on early protection and cantrips yeah political case hop can do work so we're on the draw get our planes now into freakus here when I only have one creature in hand and ways to protect it there's no way you play it on turn two especially when you have the third mana as well font of return no land so that's a little rough for him so now I know I can play my Hoplite protected with God's Willing. And he knows that, so he probably... He does likely have the Feast of Dream, or He could have Feast of Dreams, but he could have Freakus Cure as well. So I got these Pillar of Lights, which... You know, would have been better as Jeskai students or whatever. When he's mana screwed and whatnot. Pillar Light also pretty good because he can't get his Grey Merchants back. So, where are those lands at? Yeah, that's rough. So he's discarding Merchants. Now what's awkward for me is my whole entire hand is white and I want to hold open God's Willing. Right? So that he can't freak his cur or me. Um, but I figure... I don't know what I'm figuring because this play is just the worst ever. If I had Boon of Erebos, then I could see this play being real sweet. That's another card that I should maybe play, Boon of Erebos. But no, my only creature, my only thing beating him down, my only thing with any pressure. That's so dumb. If I... <laughs> yeah, and I'm like... Whatever. So at this point, at least I draw the wild so I can start getting more guys in play. Yeah, I have a bunch of lands, but I drew a bunch of swamps early, which were not helpful at emptying my hand. And my sideboard was not the best either. But if he's going to play Read the Bones, that's fine by me. He's dealing damage to himself. He's discarding. So now I just gotta try to rebuild, protect my guys if possible. A pillar of light open in case he plays anything relevant. Read the bones is not relevant. I probably, sh yeah. At this point, defiant strike. Hope to hit land. Oh, that card's good. We'll play the hoplite. Beat for five, so he's down to three. So now I like my spot. Now I can just like give my guy protection against anything or whatever. So he hits five mana, plays his merchant, and then he's dead because I got get rid of your merchant and then attack for six. Don't even need anything else. Um, but yeah, that's just a great example of me like completely misplaying, and I could have been punished severely for it. But we get. We get lucky for playing through a little bit of a mistake, and we're on to top four.